G'day everybody. Reading from Colossians 1 verse 24 to 28 and um, now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you and I fill up my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's affliction for the sake of his body which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Imagine that that Christ in you is the hope of glory. You know, as we are filled with His Spirit, born again, filled with His Spirit, and, and then growing day by day in His image, we become the hope for the world. Mm. The Bible mm. also tells us that the world eagerly awaits for the children of God to be revealed. And uh, so it is, that as we have more and more of Christ in us, we are then more and more hopeful for the world around us, for those who are suffering and dying and, and lost and confused and don't know who they are in Christ, don't know who they, why they were here. They have no idea what they were born for. Well, mm. Christ in you is the hope of glory. And it talks about the richness of this mystery so when the mystery is revealed through Christ, there's a richness in it, not just for us as Christians, but for everybody. Hallelujah. You get into the Word and may the Word get into you because the Christ in you is the hope, hope of glory. glory. <laughs> Amen. You have a great day. See you later.